continuing my lying streak, uh, we have another folder uh, to open, and I'm struggling. Uh, thankfully, this person doesn't live too far from me, so I didn't have to deal with terrible USB. I don't know why people drive the loudest fucking cars on my street. Anyways, we have here a good old-fashioned folder. In fact, one of the most popular folders. We have, well, a variant of it, I suppose. A bug out. A mini bug out, in fact. The mini bug out is really small. Holy shit. This is a thumb folder, and it is an access lock or a crossbar lock, which I think is the... Oh, that is fun. It is the non... What's the word? Um, patented name or copyrighted name. So the bug out is a really, really popular knife because of how inex... Well, it's like not that inexpensive. It's like 150-ish. Uh, but it is super light. Uh, the mini bug out is even smaller and um, doesn't really sacrifice much grip. Let's give this away, shall we? All right. It is... Oh my god, 1.48 ounces on my scale? Um, you might want to double check it. Um, this is the Carbon Fiber Elite Mini Bug Out. It is just... It's so tiny and small, and it just feels so easy to manipulate in a sense. I'm not very used to thumb stud openings, and when I do, it's not so much of a flick, but a um, like a push. I, I feel like when I'm trying to do it, I like push slowly like this. Um, I will try and do a good old flick with this, though. Yeah, shit. I only got this far. Let's try that again. Kind of. I don't know. I actually plan on putting the pocket clip on the other side so that I actually plan on carrying this lefty. Unless this is good for lefty. I'm trying to think. Oh, wait. Okay. Maybe my Akuchi is actually on the wrong side. My Akuchi might be on the, on the lefty side. So I might put this... On the other side I'm like I feel like I'm being stupid I don't know pocket clips are usually I guess no pocket clips are supposed to be on where your fingers are underneath if you are right-handed so then but then if I put it on here and I reach I don't know I feel like I'm having a crisis I am right-handed but I figured that the mini bug out would be something that I could very conveniently keep in my left hand pocket and because it is a true ambidextrous knife um, the access lock is actually exactly the same on both hands because um, what you're doing if you don't know about access locks or crossbar locks is that you're pulling this this thingy down this engages and disengages the lock and so you can you know pull it down and flick out that way um, you can just push up, um, and because there's a thumb stud on both sides, if you want to do like the underside flick or you want to do a thumb flick, you can just do that. And so, yeah, I guess if I'm putting this in my left pocket, because I'm like, I don't know, my left pocket's actually pretty bulky already with my wallet and my keys, and this actually could very easily fit on your keys. So I'm here, take this out. And I just want to go wham ham. Uh, I'm so used to flipper openings, um, so just like whoop bam. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like this knife. I have pretty big hands, and I can pretty comfortably fully grip this. It's so small and light, and I feel like you know, for the vast majority of what I'm doing, I'm just opening paper or cardboard. Um, but I wanted these because, I don't know, it's really light and flicky. I was stupid, and I was like, when I get my knife finally, I'm going to bring my keys over and see if it fits on my keychain. And the answer is it's almost definitely going to fit very nicely on your keychain. Um, you have this little lanyard spot. Um, pretty sure the knife comes nowhere near that. Um, yeah, so, you know, if you wanted to keep it on your keychain, that's good. I actually used to keep a multi-tool on my keychain, but... Um, I go to, I, I go to Planned Parenthood pretty frequently, and Planned Parenthood because you know people are psychopaths. Um, sometimes will threaten them, and so they have really they have security, and so you cannot bring knives into Planned Parenthood. So every time I forgot to take it off my keychain, I would have to run back to my car and 
to take off the you know the the multi tool knife, and you know it's, it has a knife that's probably about yay big, um, but um, yeah, it also has like a screwdriver and a bottle opener and um, some other shit, scissors. Um, but yeah, so now I just keep that in my car. <clears throat> that said, I, I plan on keeping this um, in my pocket as an EDC thing. Um, yeah, it's just interesting that I don't know why. Um, like, I don't know, I'm putting this on my other side with my fingers around it like this. And I guess it's more, I guess it's more comfortable to have your hands where the, the clip is like underneath your palm. Um, this is able to be four fingered. However, unlike some like Spyderco knives, I don't think this is one of those actually. Yeah, no, it's not. Uh, some Spyderco knives, the smaller ones have, um, a choil that's high enough that you can choke up to it. Um, none of my knives. Oh, actually the, the send cut, you can choke up. It's actually quite comfortable to do this, but if you want to, you can choke up, put your finger on the jimping on the back of the spine. Um, but I don't know, maybe that's if you're, if you're whittling, you want to do that. You can even put your thumb on the back here. Um, there's no jimping here. Uh, the bug out is pretty minimalist in terms of its design. The mini bug out especially is just like it seems to really just be two liners, some spacers. Uh, you know, there's like two of these little spacers. And then the actual knife mechanism, like the blade and the lock, and of course the hardware. So, yeah, I am pretty happy that I got this. I think this is one of those knives. This is S30V as well. Um, and it's, you know, it's got coating. Um, Benchmade, if you didn't already know. I think I said that already. I'm still just trying to figure out if I want to swap the pocket clip or not. Um, but essentially, yeah, this is this is a nice, really, really light knife. Um, I think if it had a flipper tab, I would probably enjoy it a little bit more. But just for the sake of practicality, I think a bug out or a mini bug out is one of those knives that it will never hurt to have. Maybe. Again, also, like, if you go through security frequently, um, you might not be able to bring this in places. Um, let me just double check the length of this blade, because I'm pretty sure it's not very long. Uh, of course, I picked the wrong side. The length of this blade is, oh, it's under two, it's under three inches. It's just below three inches, it seems. Um, so, you know, anywhere that has, like, any rules against pocket knives over three inches this again i believe is one of those knives that like if anyone sees you with this they probably will assume that you are actually just someone who is being practical um this is one of the knives that i think is if you carry this around people will think you are a scary psychopath if you carry this around if you carry this around or this around, I mean, maybe this one, but I feel like these are the kind of knives that if you see someone take out, you know, especially the bug out, um, the bug out just looks so practical and such like a reasonable, affordable knife that has, you know, nothing wrong with it. Uh, it just, it looks, it just looks reasonable. <laughs> and this one, I think it looks kind of classic because I love wooden scales, but, um, yeah, I, part of why I like I like, I like my battle songs long. I like my pocket knives small. Um, and partially because um, the safety, the practicality of it, um, being able to use these and carry these in public without um, you know, alerting any people. Uh, nice deep pocket clip. Um, I don't know if it, I know a lot of people have much stronger opinions on pocket clips. Again, I do not, pocket clips are a thing that people hate in battle songs. Um, this honestly could be a knife where I just don't even use a pocket clip and just stick in my pocket, but it might be nice to have it like just readily available on here. And then, I don't know, anytime I need to open something, I just, yeah, I'll give it a little bit of lubrication. Actually, it, it seems to have really good action. I'm just bad at opening things with my uh, thumb. Uh, and to just give one practical demonstration of it, uh, here is a letter from my beloved friend Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. I am going to test opening up this envelope with my left hand and the CF Elite Mini Bug Out. That is clean and sharp and easy. That worked out well. Uh, and then I will read this later because it's private. <laughs> uh, 
but thank you everyone that tuned in um you probably already know enough about the mini bug out if you don't then you do now um if you're a battle song flipper like me and you don't know a lot about knives uh, i would say that right now i've been looking at spider co's and uh particularly the mini bug out and the mini griptilian from benchmade um and i've like been sort of looking at other folders because i am falling into a pit of my own despair and trying to collect other things and oh my god knives are so expensive but uh i would say a regular bug out or a mini bug out is the kind of knife that anyone can use have and it would be the opposite of a burden it's so light it's so light it's under two ounces any any knife under two ounces and is like this practical is just it's ambidextrous too so no lefty righty problems um yeah this is this is absolutely the kind of knife that anyone could have um whether you're an enthusiast or you're just a practical person if you know someone that goes and does outdoor things maybe you want a hike because i think this was originally designed for hikers uh and the original bug out is like blue scales um so it's like really easy to find in nature uh because blue is actually very uncommon um this is really fun <laughs> uh but yeah this is just a really really convenient knife anyone that goes camping anyone that goes hiking anyone that is afraid of knives is honestly like my mom's afraid of knives but i feel like even my mom could probably use this and like i'd be like hello mother if i hand you this knife and uh, and she'd be like how do i open this and i just you just push down on here with your thumb and then when you're done you can pull your fingers away because you can disengage this safely without having your fingers in there anyone that might be afraid of knives this one i think would be good for them as well it's common it's easy it's functional um it's really really easy to find in general um i found this on used on reddit but you can buy them new always um and yeah it's like pretty affordable they sit around 150 ish they could be cheaper theoretically but like yeah i don't know i think of a a stock bug out or stock mini bug out was like around 100 that'd be really nice there are obviously some good folders that are like even cheaper like 30 dollars 50 dollars whatever i think the the penguin is um the osp penguin i don't remember uh is like really inexpensive um i wanted to get one of those for free and then shit went wrong but um that's okay so yeah mini bug out i'm gonna be keeping this um if i had to sell every single knife i had i would probably still keep this just because it just is practical so thanks for tuning in this has been the mini bug out um i have heard that it will disappear in your pockets and the moment you need it it's just really easy to engage um i'm just so used to like being like i want i, ooh, I want hello i just cut a little bit of skin thankfully all dead skin but yikes be safe um i want i wanna i wanna fucking uh yeah oh there's like pseudo jimping back here uh the kuchi has that i think as well i think nope it's on the other side i don't know why well anyways here's the size comparisons mini bug out the kuchi crkt ibi which i do not recommend <laughs> Oh my god, this is this is terrible. And uh, here's a more practical Senka Watauga, which I very much do recommend, even though it's discontinued. This is a much more normal pocket knife. These are all relatively small. Um, yeah, let's put the Ibi down, because I do not like this knife. I'm glad, though, that Blade HQ refunded me for it, because they're like, hey, we're sorry for issues. Um, so yeah, I am planning on keeping these on my person. I'm waiting on another knife that looks kind of like a pen so that I could, as a professor, look even more distinguished and yet still be able to, like, be true to myself. And then I'll have a real pen in my pocket, too, in case anyone's like, Professor, can I borrow your pen? And I'd be like, uh, oops, this is a knife. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. And then if I have a balance on me, I'll have, like, four knives on me at any given point. So, yeah. One will be in my right pocket. Possibly this. One will be in my left pocket. Probably this, almost definitely. And one will be in my breast pocket, which is the one that looks like a pen. And I have to double check if that's actually coming or if I need to refund that. Anyway, this video is getting kind of long. Thank you for tuning in. 
bench made mini bug outs good. What can I say? It's gonna do everything you need. I already did a demonstration on it. So bye. Oh, uh, tune in, like, comment, subscribe. Again, this is more of a battle song channel. And if you are interested in a non knife enthusiast opinion on folders, well, you got me, I guess. But if you are looking up mini bug out, you probably are not finding me. You're probably finding this through me because you already <laughs> fuck off. Like, comment, subscribe. Click the coffee link in the description to donate a couple bucks. Thanks. I am making zero dollars this month. Bye bye bye.